there's not just one shampoo in this world that's gonna work for someone like Monet isn't the only shampoo in this world that's good when I shower it's like a freaking hairball every time I brush my hair it's a hairball but I just wouldn't really recommend the shampoo and conditioner to be honest Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karina. Welcome. Hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my Monet journey. I know I made a video about this about almost a year ago. My experience using Monet for I think it was going on two years. I just wanted to make a little update video just explaining a little bit about why I stopped using it, the things that I noticed once I stopped using it, and then how my hair has changed and like my hair goals. It's been a while now that I've wanted to kind of transition my hair from being really blonde to kind of more of a natural color with way less bleach just because I have been kind of over it in the sense that I really I can't have my hair natural without it looking super fried super dead and it's just like I see a lot of people on Instagram or in real life and their hair just looks so healthy and I don't know what what was I was kind of weighing like what's more important like having blonde hair or having healthy hair because at the end of the day like it didn't look bad but it wasn't where I wanted it to be so I decided with my hairstylist he convinced me to kind of just go for it and make the switch so at my last hair appointment he did my toner a lot darker as you can see like if you guys go back to my Monet video last year you can see my hair is really blonde and although I did like Monet while I was using it and I did feel like my hair grew a lot with it it thrived it was shiny after a while again I'm not entirely sure if this is because of the products that I was using I've tried many Monet shampoos many Monet conditioners you guys can check that video out if you want i'll link it also up here i just started feeling like my hair had a lot of product buildup every time i would wash my hair like i would literally scrub all the shampoo out like excessively scrub it out just in case if maybe i just wasn't washing it out right but i just felt like my hair was like getting built up like every time i washed my hair like two days later i felt like my hair was like greasy and thick and then i just ended up feeling like my hair was looking dull like unless i ironed it and curled it because obviously when you iron and curl it it's gonna look amazing it just looked so dull like frizzy and i know that it wasn't monet's fault completely that my hair looked like that obviously i had bleached my hair a lot and my hair was just damaged in general but the product buildup and the dullness of it was really a problem for me and it wasn't really getting fixed so i think the previous hair appointment that i had gone to before this one <clears throat> or i think it was this one that i went to i think it was about like two three months ago that i went to this hair appointment my last appointment where he made me a little darker i had already been noticing that the shampoo that they use at the at the hair salon i go to was just amazing one of the biggest things for me and i know this is so silly but one of the biggest reasons why i switched from using monet is because monet doesn't smell as good as like other shampoos and i love the idea that when i wash my hair i'm just like moving around or like anything like my, the smell in my hair like smells good for multiple days and i know that monet's like slogan i guess is that it's vegan all natural hair care so fate free the shampoo and conditioner that i use now it's called pureology and it's also vegan cruelty free, free like sulfate free and it still bubbles it still smells so good i have no product build up and my hair is just thriving you can see now i still have some blonde like i don't want my hair to be fully dark but i do want some dimension and i do want less bleach that way like over time as it starts growing out it's just more of my natural hair like i could just tell like on my roots it's so soft and in general with this new shampoo that i've been using i've been using it for about three months now since my hair appointment like i mentioned my hair like i just brushed it in the after i'm like this is so soft like with monet i felt like my hair was a little crispy it's just random i don't know how to explain it like it wasn't bad and my hair was really thriving but like unless i ironed it it wasn't a vibe and i wanted to stop ironing it and i really wanted my hair to naturally look so healthy without ironing it and just air drying it i wanted it to really thrive and really look like wow your hair is healthy 
that's my goal so i wanted to talk a little bit about the changes i noticed once i switched from using monet i started using pyrology which my hairstylist also recommended to me i have been noticing obviously there's no way of knowing if this was monet but right when i stopped using monet and while i used monet i felt like a lot of my hair was falling out but since my hair was looking so much thicker i didn't even really care and also i was washing my hair once a week so when you wash your hair once a week you lose a lot of hair in that one wash because you're really getting in there and you're really like manipulating your hair but i really did sorry the lighting changed a little i really did notice that my hair was falling out a lot and i don't know if it was because it was also during the transition of me moving to new york which was a very stressful time for me as well but i just i've been noticing so much hair fall off like i'm telling you i wake up in the morning my hair has like my bed has like five hairs all over it the sh when i shower it's like a freaking hairball every time i brush my hair it's a hairball there's hair all over the floor it's just a mission and like whenever i do my sister's hair she also says she washes hair once a week and it's not that bad so i'm a little bit concerned like am i having hair loss right now or am i just stressed is it hor is it a hormonal thing i really have to get this checked out but it just coincidentally started happening at the same time that i stopped using monet so i'm just really hoping that it's not that and that it gets fixed because I'm, I'm just a little scared like i don't want my hair to get thinner and like my braid right now like this is a good size braid for me it's not too small but my hair used to be a lot thicker i wouldn't say a lot i would say it was a little bit thicker for sure and i just I'm a little bit concerned about it, but I'm just trying to like take it day by day. I've been using different hair masks, different, I've been using Ola Plex, I've been using all these different products that have really been helping my hair and I've really been seeing my hair really make a 360 from the time I stopped using Monet to now. I just want to mention this, like Monet might not be the main reason why my hair started not reacting as well as I used to to it. My hair always felt a little greasy with Monet just because it's very, very thick and intense like product so obviously if you're using it a lot for a long period of time and you're not doing clarifying treatments your hair is gonna start feeling a little bit like built up and i'm just not having that issue with this shampoo my hair feels very very clean and who wants to wash your hair and it doesn't feel clean let's be honest like you want your hair to feel clean you want your hair to smell good and that was just one of the reasons why i switched my shampoos it's like okay this shampoo it's good but no one is meant to use the same shampoo and the same products for the rest of their life it's the same thing as your skin your hair gets used to it and it's gonna stop reacting to it so i was just in that point in my life that i was already like eh, it's time for a change and i switched to these new products that have just really been awesome i loved it i love them they really give me everything i asked for they make my hair feel so clean they make my hair smell so delicious they make my hair so soft not dull at all like very lightweight and clean which is something that i love i'll link them down below that way you guys could check them out if you're interested i do have like pretty damaged and dry hair you could gauge what type of hair i have it's it's like thick wavy it's not super thick but it's not straight it's bleach dyed and i have a toner so it's definitely color safe and all of that i know that i should have had my hair down for this video that's my bad but i had already gotten ready for it and i fell asleep with my hair wet last night or like damp so you already know when you wake up or at least for me my hair was wild and i was not about to film this video like that i mean i'm gonna see if i have a picture i could put of my hair now right here hopefully i had a picture and i don't look stupid I mean, my hair has a lot of breakage just because of my, my bleach. So that's why I have like all these hairs coming out. But as you can see, like my braid is still pretty thick. My ends are a little like crispy as you can see, but nothing like before. I'm definitely on the route to recovery. I'm super excited for my hair to kind of grow out. And I'm always going to be doing a little bit of a little like dimension in my hair. Like as you can see here, like this is all my natural hair. And then I have some dimension here. But I don't want to ever do like intense highlights like how I used to have. Because again, like I literally get a random piece of my hair and it's short. Because the breakage, it's just so real. And that that's not really to do with Monet. That's to do with my own fault. That's why I'm trying to kind of gauge what was Monet's fault and what wasn't. Because some things were my own fault for dyeing my hair. Some things were Monet. Because they made my hair dull, greasy. And it was just over it. So I would still recommend the products. But I just wouldn't recommend using them for such a long period of time like it's definitely something that can really transform your hair i would say but i've said it in my previous video as well like, i really like the products that monet offers for getting out of the shower so the oil 
the like split end mender blowout cream they have some products are that are really really good but i just wouldn't really recommend the shampoo and conditioner to be honest just because you can get something very similar with better overall experience which is just what i'm living for here there's not just one shampoo in this world that's gonna work for someone like monet isn't the only shampoo in this world that's good and i have to kind of like engrave that into my head to kind of make myself switch because everyone raves about it and everyone's like oh my god monet is the only shampoo i ever use you're not meant to use the same shampoo forever and it's okay to use other shampoos mostly everyone i see on instagram or mostly everyone i see in, in like in real life that has amazing hair do not use monet so it's not only possible with monet and that is something that i've learned and that's something that if you're using monet and you want to stop or if you're just here for the tea that's the tea i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was short and sweet i really got to the point with this video good job karina make sure to hit that subscribe button guys give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it i do want to do a new updated hair care routine that way i can kind of upload that for you and you could kind of see where i'm at with my hair care journey check out the products down below the shampoo and conditioner that i switched to and i'll see you guys soon <laughs>